What if I told you that a single AI tool just replaced three of my most used apps, Notion, Notebook LM, and Obsidian, and even made me rethink my ChatGPT subscription? You see, I've been reviewing all my AI tools heading into 2026, and this one completely changed how I work. And you see, on this channel, I cover productivity, workflows, and the tech that truly helps you get more done. So today, I'm excited to show you a tool called Recall. And honestly, it's become one of my favorite ways to use artificial intelligence in my everyday workflow. It's practical, powerful, and actually makes managing information easier instead of more complicated. And with their latest update, I seriously can't justify going back to any other tool. So in today's video, I'm breaking down the three standout features that makes Recall so powerful. Automatic organization, a powerful mobile app and desktop browser extension, and supercharged note-taking with AI that you can actually chat with. And yes, you heard that correctly. You can chat with your notes. And also this video is sponsored by Recall. Everything that I'm going to be talking about today will be in the link in the description below. First, let me address the issue with most tools like the ones I mentioned earlier. They're great at collecting research, but the moment you want to organize information properly, everything just kind of falls apart. You see everything either lives in separate notebooks or folders, and you're constantly deciding, does this go here or here? And if you research across multiple topics like tech, YouTube, business, personal growth, then it gets messy very fast. What I always wanted was one place for everything, my saved content, podcasts, videos, PDFs, articles, and my own personal thoughts all connected automatically. And that is exactly where Recall comes in. Now, though I use my iPad for everything, all you Mac users get the benefit of installing Recall's browser extension. It quietly becomes an intelligent layer over everything you do online. You can literally save YouTube videos, PDFs, articles, podcasts, and TikToks, random web pages, and Recall will automatically summarize them, tag them, and connects related ideas across your entire library. So let me show you a quick example right now. You see, there was this two and a half hour interview with Jay Shetty and Emma Watson that came out. Amazing conversation, but no way I'm re-watching that whole thing just to find a few quotes. With Recall, I can get a concise summary within seconds, and it gives me a clean summary with timestamps and key takeaways. Then I asked Recall, how did Emma Watson make the character of Hermione her own? And guess what? I got an answer instantly, with links back to the exact moment where she talked about it in the video. And with just one click, those insights were saved straight to my dashboard. That is powerful. And guess what the best part is? I don't have to tag or organize a single thing manually. It all happens automatically. The browser extension works beautifully on desktop. But if you're on an iPhone or an iPad, Recall didn't forget about you. Their mobile app is very useful and well-designed. Even with their app, you can share content directly to Recall from anywhere, be it articles, videos, links, straight into their system. Now let me go over a feature that really made me stop and say, okay, this is next level. As you browse the web, Recall uses this super cool augmented browsing feature that subtly highlights names and topics that it recognizes from your saved content. When you hover over someone's name like Tim Cook, for example, it instantly surfaces videos that you've saved about them, articles you've read, notes that you captured before. It's like your entire research history is quietly following you around, but in a helpful, non-intrusive, local first way. I was actually reading an article about the design of the new iPhone Air and Recall surfaced a quote from Johnny Ive that I saved months ago about how great products aren't just meant to look good, they're meant to feel good when you hold them. So that kind of contextual learning is what makes information actually stick. All the Recall AI tools that we normally use for websites, articles, and videos now work on your personal notes as well. So your study notes, your journal entries, your meeting notes, your brain dumps, they all become interactive. With their new note taker, it's got this really cool Notion style editor and it's honestly quite a joy to use. So for example, you just click forward slash to get a bunch of editing options to add whatever you need. So for example, you can drag blocks around to reorganize, add formula, quotes, tables. It's fast, modern, and most importantly, invisible. For example, you can instantly turn your notes into AI-generated quizzes. So instead of reading what you already wrote once and forgetting about it later, you can actually test yourself. So that way you actually retain the information. I see this especially very helpful for students who are preparing for exams, but it's also powerful for business meetings, content planning, and personal growth. 
Now here is where it gets really cool. You can actually chat with your own notes. And I know that might sound confusing at first, so this is what I'm talking about. So you can ask questions to clarify your thoughts, pull out hidden insights, and uncover ideas that are buried in your own thinking. It literally feels like you're having a conversation with your past self, but smarter. Plus, you can also generate AI summaries of your personal notes as well. So instead of looking at hundreds of disconnected notes, you can finally see the story that they tell together. So here's the real difference with Recall. This is not just an AI tool that answers generic prompts. This is AI that actually understands your thinking because it's trained on your saved content, your personal notes, your research habits, and the longer you use it, the smarter it becomes for you. Now let's talk about a future that truly replaced Notebook LM for me global chat. This lets you chat across everything you've ever saved. And we already talked about notes, but you can also use global chat for summaries, transcripts, PDFs, articles, all in one place. So no more jumping between notebooks or folders. So for example, I asked, what productivity habits have I saved? And Recall literally pulled insights from podcasts, YouTube videos, and articles beautifully formatted with source links. Then I asked it to create a three-step plan for growing my YouTube channel. And I kid you not, it literally combined advice from three different content creators that I follow, plus blogs that I've bookmarked. It feels like an intelligent brain that actually remembers everything and helps you use it. I kid you not, I have spent years trying to organize my thoughts and workflows, and I've used countless productivity apps and AI tools, and every time it eventually turns into a mess of folders and tags that I don't have time to maintain. But with Recall, it just works. Everything is connected automatically. Search is instant, and the information that you save actually becomes useful again. And if you've used it or you're going to use it, definitely let me know what you think about it. You can get started with Recall today for free, and if you want the unlimited version, I've got a special promo for 25% off waiting for you in the description below. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed using Recall. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one.